What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here and today we have something to celebrate when it comes to Splatoon. It has finally hit 1 million sales worldwide for a game that I didn't think would sell too well simply for the fact that it doesn't really have too much presence because it is a new IP, it did pretty damn well. Now, I never really doubted that the gameplay would be, you know, good or whatever, like I always thought the gameplay would be good, I never doubted it wouldn't be, but I mean, it's, it's just like... You know, wow, a million copies sold worldwide. That is not a small feat. I don't know the individual numbers, but for now, let's look at the article here that's talking about it, my Nintendo News. It hit this goal about two, three days ago, so people already know, and it's, it's really surprising to a lot of people. I'm surprised myself as well, too. I didn't think it would sell that well because people don't know what it is, but I guess they're addictive campaign. They're really, really weird commercial, and a lot of other factors as well, too, just make this game something to go out and buy if you have a Wii U. I think if more people had Wii U's, then this thing would probably sell even more copies, obviously. But um, let's take a look at the My Nintendo News article. So, um, Splatoon hits 1 million worldwide sales today. Splatoon managed to hit the milestone of a million copies sold worldwide today, most of which were sold in America. So that's another big feat as well, too. In, in the United States, Splatoon sold um, the most copies out of all the other regions. Is that somewhat of a surprise? Like, I would have thought that Japan would have bought it onto it a bit more. Japan also released another commercial for the colorful shooter that you can check out above. But more importantly, here's Nintendo's official announcement. Nintendo has hauled up its nets, tallied its catch, and crossed another milestone. Sales of Splatoon, the new squid-based game for Nintendo's Wii U home console, have crossed 1 million worldwide according to Nintendo's internal figures. That figure includes more than 476,000 physical and digital units sold in the Americas, more than 368,000 sold in Japan. So Japan still has very strong numbers as well, too. Um, I, I don't know. I think more people own the Wii U in uh, America than in Japan. I'm not sure, though. Don't quote me on these. You know I don't really have official charts in front of me right now. Um, in fact, actually, we can check that out ourselves right now. I want to be able to see um, Wii U sales. I want to know if it's sold more in Japan or in the United States. Um, let's see. Let's see uh, Wii U Wiki then. Usually they have information like this on display on a Wiki or something. So um, I looked here before actually. Let's see. How many copies in Japan? So as you can see here, these are the dates and milestones of the hardware sales in Japan. Um, let's see. So total... Hardware, um, so right now, total in the entire world, the Wii U has just under 10 million sold. Um, meanwhile, in Japan, let's see, let's see, wait, okay, Japan, hardware, 2.3 million Wii U sold in Japan, in America, 4.65 million sold in America. So, I mean, okay, so in Japan, they don't have as many Wii U's floating around as they do in America. So... I guess these numbers are more understandable that more people would have bought it in America. But the thing is, is that the American sales don't exactly totally eclipse the Japanese sales of Splatoon. 476,000 American sales, while 368,000 Japanese sales. Considering that basically the amount of Wii U's that are in Japan right now is basically half of that of America, these aren't bad figures at all. And it means that people in Japan actually do like the game a lot to the point where they're buying it at a higher ratio of sales to Wii U's owned than the American people are. So, hey man, um, shout outs to Japan. More than 230,000 sold in Europe, an additional 20,000 sold in Australia and New Zealand. Um, ever since Splatoon launched on May 29th in the United States, we've seen thousands of people go online to have fun in this colorful, chaotic competition, said Reggie Fisame. The milestone puts us in a nice position as we prepare to launch 11 more exclusive Wii U and 3DS games before the end of the year, plus Amiibo, digital offerings, and games from our third-party partners. What third-party partners? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I'm just playing around. Um, Splatoon's multiplayer pits. Yeah, we already know the details of Splatoon. A big congratulations to the Inklings of Splatoon for getting their game to 1 million sales sold. I mean, excuse me, 1 million copies sold. This is a big milestone in a lot of ways, and it makes you wonder where the future of Splatoon is. It's been about a month since the game's come out. About a month, I think a little bit more, a little bit less. But um, this is a really impressive goal to hit, you know? Only a month after for a new IP to get this many sales. I mean, it's been done before, of course, but for Splatoon to be able to hit that, especially since the Wii U is kind of like not really doing so well, I mean, it, in comparison to the other consoles at least, not a bad number at all, not a bad showing. Um, I wanted to ask you guys something. I wanted to leave you with a question before we end the video. 
Um, what was it though? I totally forgot. You know, sometimes when my brain keeps going with these videos, it's very difficult to, to keep information in your brain because I'm constantly firing off with no script. So it's like, uh, um, anyways, guys, I, I can't remember right now, but um, what do you think about this whole thing? Are you surprised? Are you surprised that Splatoon managed to hit this massive monumental goal in being a new IP and being so soon after the release? Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.